The 136th Maryland State Fair is now underway. Sharon Jabal is live at the Timonium Fairgrounds with farmer Linda Burrier. Is that right, Sharon? Barrier, that is right. And she's a Union Bridge farmer. She does hay and grain. And there are so many different things to see at the fair. So you think of the fair as rides and food, but they also have the 4 H animals, as we were showing you before. And they have cool new exhibits this year that include an innovation station. It's a way for kids to learn essentially how technology is really a part of uh, farming. We have Linda here to talk a little bit more about that. Tell us, what are we looking at here? Well, we have the planetarium, which shows how farmers used to uh, plant their crops by watching the stars and the moon and go from there. We have the butterfly station, and that shows the pollinators are, are being uh, welcomed into the state of Maryland by all farmers. And then we also have the high-octane uh, biofuels being, being uh, raced here as a representative of the fuels that Maryland farmers grow. Now, what's fun about this is like the kids can learn by seeing, touching, feeling. So you can go in the planetarium, and I understand you can feed the butterflies. Yeah, we have a, a it's a, a, a nectar, and the butterflies come right over to the children, and they really enjoy having the butterflies land on them. Okay, yeah, that would be my daughter's dream. And then, can they race the cars too? Yes, they can. There's three, three. Uh, uh, controls over there and the children really enjoy it and uh, we were giving it a whirl and it's kind of tough. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like a little difficult. I saw one car going backwards the whole time. <laughs> that would have been mine. <laughs> okay, very good. So lots of different fun things. Do you feel like that kids are really uh, grasping the uh, understanding of this? I think so and they, they, uh, they're they here to see all the animals and so when they come up here to the farm and garden building they get to see some of the uh, innovations that the farmers are producing. Okay, well, very good. And this is going to be open through the entire 11 days. The fair runs through September 4th. Now, this innovation station is going to be open from 10 to 8 on the weekends and uh, 12 to 8 during the week. So come on by and check it out. Something different at the Maryland State Fair. Back over to you. All right, Shannon. While you're down there, Tracy got a chance to eat. What was it you were eating? Oh, the peanut butter and jelly funnel cake. You have to try that, Sharon. Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. They've started, like the food stands aren't open, but they've started cooking it, and it, the smell is amazing. Oh. It, it made me hungry. I'm ready for breakfast. Oh. <laughs> we are All right. too. All right, Sharon, enjoy the festival, or the festival, the fair, the, the Maryland fair. State Fair. Okay, going on through Labor Day. Sharon Jabal reporting live at Maryland State Fairgrounds this morning.